You are watching Morning Musings with Reinhard von Hennings, Chairman and Founder of Bridge House Law in Charlotte, North Carolina. How much would you pay for a cup of iced tea? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. The question could also be, how much would you pay for a used empty cup of iced tea? And maybe how much would you pay for an empty used cup of iced tea together with a paper bag around? Well, to start with a letter, there are folks on the internet who sell for $40 a used cup of iced tea together with a paper bag, which was initially the paper bag containing such iced tea. How is this possible? Well, probably because it is not just a regular used cup like you see behind me. It is a bag which has written Fondi or the Italian label Fendi Roma written all over in the traditional yellow. Why is that the case? Are people out infringing with Fendi's trademark. No, it is a legitimate cooperation between Fendi and High Tea. It is a partnership in China. And let's talk about some lessons we can learn out of this partnership, not necessarily how we can do a reduce, reuse and recycle method by reusing used cups of tea. In recent years, the collaboration between Fendi the fashion brand from Rome, Italy, and High Tea, a popular tea chain in China, has garnered a significant attention. This partnership not only boosted both companies' market presence, it also provided valuable insights about cross-industry collaboration. And that is the topic of my musing today. In this musing, we will explore key factors about the success of this cross-collaboration. And let's start with the initial one. What is your market and where is the opportunity? The Fendi High Tea partnership was built in the understanding that the Chinese market and its consumers are in a way different from the European or the American market. Both companies <clears throat> recognized that the growing demand for unique and innovative products, as well as the importance of social media, would give both of them a benefit in a combined strength. By combining these strengths, Fendi and Haiti were able to create a unique offering which resonated with the target audience. So the first lesson learned is conduct market research, identify potential opportunities, and understand the need of the target audience. Number two, let's leverage complementary strengths. The collaboration between Fendi and Haiti was possible because they have different strengths. Fendi, of course, fashion, luxury branding, Haiti, is tea. But Haiti also has the access to local markets. And that's where it became interesting for Fendi. So the unique opportunity between a local marketeer as well as a global brand is good. So the next lesson is when forming a partnership, look for companies which have strength in the market you are going into. And this will allow you an opportunity to create a compelling product. Number three, create a unique and memorable experience. Well, Google it, this yellowish colored Fendi high tea cup, it looks pretty cool. I would like to have one as well, maybe, but definitely not for 40 euros or for $40. So the experience of this cup bringing home, the wishful hopes of people in the subway or colleagues when you come back from a break, that's exactly what they are banking on. This leads to the next topic, number four. Harness the power of social media. The collaboration between Fendi and IT would not be possible without the buzz they created on social media. Influencers, shoppers, everybody is posting pictures with their shopping experience. Let's go to Fendi shopping, but no, let's get out with a couple of dollars spent for that cup of tea. The implementation of this whole strategy is fascinating. And even more fascinating is that people are willing to spend two, three, four euros, dollars, 
the exchange in the local currency when the local market has a very different revenue, a very different income scenario. Of course, Fendi is catering to a luxury market. But what we have here is that high tea is able to sell their brands and their products at a higher value. So what are the key takeaways? Conduct market research, number one. Look for complementary strengths, number two. Develop a unique and memorable customer experience, number three. Number four, leverage social media. And lastly, it's all about setting goals and enforce the goals and be accountable for. What is your stage where you want to partner with somebody where they are not affiliated with you, where they are in a different market, be it a geographical different market or a different industry? How do you want to collaborate? Share that idea with me. I'm curious to learn. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like more information about Bridge House Law, please visit our website at bridgehouse.law. Before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more up-to-date content. Bridge House Law. Business-minded. Client-focused. Whether you're a private citizen, an international business leader, or simply someone eager to stay on top of the latest news, this book is a great way to get caught up on the most recent developments in the worlds of international business, tax, politics, and social affairs. Go to morningmusings.com and order your copy today.